Apart from using your eyesight to capture live video, you could also do it if you do have a FireWire camera. In this case, what I did is I plugged in my FireWire camera and I switched it over. Instead of being in the VTR mode where I could play the tape, I switched it to camera mode. And as you can see here, the option says DV. It allows me to see, or rather, it allows iMovie to see what the camera is seeing in real time. Now, if you get a choice between using your FireWire camera like I'm doing right now, or using your built-in eyesight or an external eyesight, my recommendation to you is to go with a FireWire camera. The reason for this is that, as you can see here, the colors are much better than the ones on the eyesight, and you can have more control than on the eyesight. I'll give you an example. Just grab the zoom. It's not something that you would want to do, but as you can see, you have the control, you have the choice with a built-in camera. Let me just go back. In terms of recording, it behaves the same way. Even though there are transport controls in the interface here, they really don't do anything because we're capturing live. Same thing, the option that reads automatic, if you try switching to it, as you can see, it doesn't do anything. So it just behaves like a regular eyesight, or rather like a live camera. Pressing on the import button gives you the dialog box. Maybe put it in the podcast folder. And record a few seconds to see what the difference between the eyesight and the FireWire camera. All right, that's enough. Thumbnails are done. We're done over here. Just close the window. And here's the difference. This is the eyesight. And this is the external FireWire camera. As you can see, the resolution and the colors are much better than the ones in the little tiny eyesight. Main reason is that the optics and that the hardware on a more expensive and much larger camera are somewhat better than the ones that you get on the little tiny eyesight.